Hi there YouTube, Ice9 with the Madden Mobile video and today everybody is talking about Combine Masters uh, and the Combine event. Uh, CJ2K is our master player. Now last year, going back to last year after the Super Bowl, the Combine event uh, came out and at that time only one of the players, a 99 Von Miller card, was really being used by a lot of teams I was playing at that time. A lot of players had already had a lot of 99s on them. And Von Miller, I do believe, was the only 99 card from that event. And for this year, things have changed. Uh, that event last year went on for months and months and months. I believe at least two months it went on. And so this year it is only going to be out for two weeks and people are going to be trying to unlock all these set players here to get this guy. 99 halfback, CJ2K, plus 2 acceleration, 100 speed, 100 acceleration, 86 catch, good carry numbers, good elusiveness. Uh, this is going to be a great halfback for a lot of people. I think he's going to be a great halfback, especially for people who like to throw to the halfback because that good catch number, which is easily boosted by OBJ. So I could see the people who like to, you know, uh, throw on the wheel route to smash or on curls or any of those types of plays where there's a good wheel route that this guy is going to burn linebackers. In those types of situation on outside running uh, he's going to get around the edge better than any halfback in this game right now there are some downsides to the card and the main one we see right here is 69 strength with the typical boosters that most people are running at this point this guy will be in the low to mid 80s Maybe the high 80s if you run a lot of strength boosters. That's not quite high enough. Uh, it doesn't put him in Emmett's category or Bo Jackson or Barry Sanders Thanksgiving. Uh, he's not in the same category with those players. It's going to be virtually impossible to get him to 90 unless you're running like all strength boosters trying to get him up there. So with that being the case... CJ2K is not going to be a good power back, obviously. Uh, if you're looking for someone to fall forward and give you that extra yard, he's not going to be able to do it. If you're looking for somebody to run people over and break tackles that way, this isn't the guy. He's not going to be able to do that. This is the guy who you could run outside with and make people miss that way. But running up the middle, especially with teams getting so good in terms of... Uh, Defensive tackles and ends and linebackers running this guy up the middle. A lot of times he's not going to fall forward. And that strength numbers, even though the carry number, which is 97, is good, strength also has a part into whether a player fumbles or not. Uh, so that might be an issue with the card, uh, but we will definitely find out. That said, in terms of a booster at the fullback slot, he's a very viable replacement for a Thanksgiving Barry Sanders or anybody else at that position just because he's got a boost and he can catch. And there are some good plays that utilize the fullback in passing plays. So he could be a very good back there and he could be a good primary back too as long as you know his limitations but I do think that there's going to be some big plays with this guy just because his speed and acceleration are so extremely high even unboosted so so we see how the set works uh, we have a bunch of set players that we have to get to unlock this guy and a paltry three elite trophies which is nothing now the players that we need to unlock CJ2K also are pretty good players as well. We have Robert Griffin III and uh, 95 speed. Here's a guy who, somebody who's been looking to try a mobile quarterback and can't afford 
99 Tim Tebow, Campus Hero. They can't afford 98 or 99 Mike Vick, who are both priced out of this world still at this point. Uh, they're going to be able to play this guy. And throw power is good. The throwing stats are not bad. Uh, the throw accuracy medium is a little low. Um, I'm not sure how much of a problem that'll be or not, but obviously the speed and acceleration are very good. And he is a right-hander, so uh, people who don't want to get used to a left-hander will be able to try this guy if they want to try a mobile quarterback. I think he'll be a pretty good choice. On to our next player, Charles Johnson, defensive end. And here we have a power defensive end. And one of the better defensive ends in the game, 95 strength. Everything else looks pretty decent on him. Hit power is really good. The tackle number is not too troublesome at 89. Uh, acceleration are good. So a good power defensive end that somebody could plug in there. Uh, I don't know my interest in this guy at this point. Uh, I've got two finesse de defensive ends in there. And flashback Julius Peppers, and then I've got 98 Jason Taylor. This guy to replace Peppers, I'm not sure, even though I would like the balance of one power defensive end and one finesse defensive end, but he's definitely somebody I could try to throw in at defensive end and just see how he does. The numbers look pretty good. Next player, another tight end. Uh, Gronk is the be-all, end-all in this game in terms of an offensive threat. And I don't see anything in the stats here that look like this guy is going to be a better option than Gronk. So pretty decent speed and acceleration. Blocking numbers are okay. Catch numbers kind of low at 89, even a little boost to the mid-90s with OBJ. Strength isn't really good. So this is basically a player to unlock to get the CJ2K set. That would, I'd say, be about it for most people. Uh, next we have Bud Dupree. And this card, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. And I believe the hit power, too, is 99 at the linebacker position. So these are some eye-popping stats. Uh, the one that you don't see... Because everything in the front page of the card looks great. Uh, coverages don't look bad. Pursuit numbers excellent. But the one thing is it's got 78 play recognition on this card. So very fast, very athletic. But what I find is that even when linebackers are a little bit slower, the play recognition is really important because that means that a lot of times they're positionally how they start out and how they react to a play is going to be better so I'm not sure how this guy is going to work out I'm I'm sure he's going to be awesome in terms of using him from the outside linebacker position when you're playing pinch you know this is going to be a great card for that uh, other than that though most people aren't too concerned with playing season or any of the events where you could use the defense so in terms of having this guy on the field as part of your defense playing league to league or head to head, I'm not really sure how good this guy is going to be. He's got some really good stats, but one really bad stat in the key area, which is play recognition. On to Bruce Irvin. He's a little bit more well-rounded, not as strong. Uh, certainly very fast. Acceleration is good. Uh, tackle coverages are very good play recognition I believe is in the mid 80s I'll look it up right now even though I can't show it on the screen his play recognition is 86 which is good not great um, a good choice but not a great choice at the linebacker position I would say coverage is is good but the play recognition is not truly uh, top tier elite at this point uh, we have a new center and that's always exciting we're, we're starting to get some some better players at the offensive line position and as part of the set players we have 96 Jason Kelsey and numbers are very good awareness pass block run block 
strength. Everything is really good on this card. Uh, impact block number of 94 is good. I don't know if 94 is still enough to put the really strong defensive tackles that we have in this game on their back, but he could definitely open holes for runners. Uh, pass block number isn't bad. Uh, this is going to be an attainable player for a lot of people who couldn't afford Super Bowl Jeff Saturday, who's the best center in this game right now with a boost. Uh, but this guy is going to be a viable choice for people to play. Uh, I still think that I kind of prefer to put the booster flashback version, or if not flashback, game changer version of this guy in my lineup. Uh, the blocking is good enough from what I've seen. And so I'm not sure how interested I am in this guy, even though he might possibly raise my offensive overall. But certainly a good choice. It's a 96 center, so that's definitely a cool thing. Brandon Cooks and 96 wide receiver with blistering 99 speed. Uh, good catch numbers that will boost to 99 plus with OBJ. Jump numbers are decent. Uh, not great. He's 5'10". Uh, what I see is the problem with this card, even though the acceleration, the speed, and the agility are excellent. This guy will be great on screen passes, but he's another OBJ type of receiver, but he doesn't have the boosts. He's not quite as good as OBJ, so I'm not sure where you would put him in the lineup. I still think that with the majority of the league season players going to be are going to be out of reach for most people with the speed boost that a lot of people I'm afraid are still going to have to play walk-ins at wide receiver too so that boosts the whole team this guy doesn't have a boost uh, he may be a difference maker in terms of burning defenders on the outside you put him up against a uh, somebody's corner too I could easily see this guy getting open on deep patterns, but not a real good jump ball receiver at 5'10", so I'm not sure how good he's going to be or where he's going to fit in terms of a lot of people's lineups. I don't really think that he's going to fit into my lineup. So that's all our set players with the Combine event. And some really good players, and we need to burn all those really good players to unlock the combine master i'm definitely going to be trying to unlock him you know it's just you know it's a 99 half back with a boost so i'm definitely going to take a shot at unlocking him another exciting thing about this event though is the non-set players that are coming out the non-set players which are just released through packs are all 98s and they all have boosts pretty decent boosts too we have a Don Terry Poe with plus one strength at defensive tackle this really is like the Sioux card but better the Sioux flashback card that a lot of people have been running but slightly better 98 Patrick Peterson with plus one awareness so when we look at this card with 97 speed Pretty decent strength, 69 at a corner. Play recognition is good at 92. It's not Dion and it's not Ty Law, but he's fast and he's tall, and that's going to make a difference. Uh, the man stat is 98, which is extremely good, 95 zone. So he's going to be a player that uh, will make a lot of people's lineups as well. Uh, there's a 98 halfback, Abdullah, with plus one strength. That looks pretty good. Uh, there's a 98 defensive end with a plus one strength boost, Golston. And I'm going to take a look at this card right now, even though I can't show you it on the screen. 86 speed, 94 unboosted strength. And let's see, play recognition is 89, which is really good. Block shed, which is 91. Hit power is 97, which is excellent. 95 tackle, that's great for an end. Uh, zone coverage is 90, so beware of this guy dropping back into coverage. Uh, looks like a really, really good card. Um, I don't know how many people are going to be able to get any of these guys, given the fact that 
they're just coming out in packs. Uh, I think the best player that 100% that I could see everybody should want to have is we have a 98 offensive guard with a boost. So we have Kyle Long uh, from my Chicago Bears with plus one acceleration at the guard position. This is going to be an expensive card, rare and very desirable for a lot of people. Uh, pass block at 96, run block at 93, impact block is 91, which is not great, but it's certainly very good. And so that right now is your best offensive guard in the game. A couple other players just to mention. Michael Kendricks with plus one awareness. Torrey Smith with plus one jump. Uh, Landry, Laron Landry at safety with plus one acceleration at the safety position. Uh, let's take a look at the Landry card real quick. New safety. And 96 speed. That might be the fastest safety in the game. It's pretty close. If not, 99 hit power. Play recognition is 84. At six foot tall, uh, what that means, even though the strength is also 92, he's definitely going to dislodge um, some passes, but he's not quite tall enough, in my opinion, to really shut down Gronk, which when a new safety comes out, we want to know, is this going to be the guy who's going to be able to do a better job on Gronk? I'm not really sure if he's going to be the guy who's able to do that. Torrey Smith at wide receiver. And with this guy, 98 speed, which again is extreme. He is six foot tall, not necessarily a great jump ball receiver. Catch and traffic, catch numbers are good, easily boostable to 99 plus, 97. He's got 97 catch, so 99 plus with OBJ. Again, kind of a smaller wide receiver. Um, and he's not going to replace OBJ, so I don't know how many people are going to be interested in him, but certainly a really good player for people especially who don't have OBJ. Uh, you should have OBJ. You should be trying to get OBJ, but if you don't have him, certainly a very good player for that. So that is a lot of players uh, that they have. There's also some campus legends, even though this program has definitely gone on the back burner now that the combine's out. But we have a 99 Tim Tebow with 91 speed at the quarterback position. Uh, throw accuracy numbers are decent, which is surprising considering a 97 throw power, which is kind of a joke considering what we know about Tim Tebow. He's not the greatest throwing quarterback uh, we've ever seen, but he'll be fun to play with. Uh, he's fast, and if you get him, I don't know, I would sell him, but certainly a great choice. We've got a Michael Crabtree card. I'm sure Richard Sherman's very happy about that with 95 speed, 98 catch, which is excellent. Again, kind of a smaller receiver. Um, you know, I've got a good smaller slot receiver in OBJ. I've got a really solid possession receiver in Jerry Rice. I could see this guy potentially, people playing this guy instead of Rice. He's got 100 catch in traffic, so with 98 catch, boosting to 99 plus with OBJ, he might be just as good a possession type receiver as Jerry Rice. Uh, faster, but no boost. Uh, the awareness boost on my team is still important at this point. I've got a couple guys and Atwater, and uh, also, let's see here, I've got two players, I'll just show them, that don't boost to 99 with, even with all the defensive, with all the awareness boost that I have, and one of the guys is Julius Peppers, he's at 98 awareness, and the other guy is Atwater, so 98 awareness for both these guys. Uh, the awareness boost still helps for me at this point, and also not to mention that Jerry Rice is free. I already have him, so I don't know if Crabtree is going to be able to replace that guy at this point. 
Um, I could see potentially playing a bigger receiver like a, uh, a le ultimate legend, you know, uh, Calvin Johnson type of receiver or some other big receivers that come out. But <clears throat> basically what I'd be looking for is a big, fast possession receiver. And I don't see Crabtree being that type of guy. So I'm not really going to be worrying about him. And a lot of people, you know, the campus event, I think it will be going out longer. But I don't know uh, at this point all the action seems to be on the combine players. And as well as it should. There are some great players as part of these sets. So... That's what I'm going to be working on, trying to get some of these players and ultimately trying to get this guy, as a lot of people are. So that's my video for the day. Uh, again, my league, Mobile Madness with stars around it. The D is capitalized. We're at 26 members. We're looking to add more. We're currently in the 24-player league season tournament and uh, her brand new league. And we're doing pretty well at this point, but we are looking to make some additions. So, again, look for us, Mobile Madness. If you want to talk to me on KIK, Ice, the number nine, Vonnegut is my username. Vonnegut is in Kurt Vonnegut. So, thanks for watching. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Again, shout out to Papa Raider. Papa Raider is his YouTube channel. And as well, Ryan and Aiden Sapphire are posting videos as well. Thanks for watching.